Okay, so, um, you remember in the intro when we had to find Sean and take him downstairs to join Jason for lunch? It was Jason's birthday party. Sean was crying because the bird had just died. And Ethan was telling Sean, son, it's not your fault. And he was like, really? I was afraid that there was foreshadowing that, um, Sean was going to lose, like, something more important than a pet bird. And there was going to be, like, a repetition of that scenario. And Sean was going to blame himself again and, uh, think that, uh, he was cursed or something. But now we have this beautiful cutscene where we're watching, like, the neighborhood. And there's a title that says Heavy Rain and... People don't look quite as happy, but, um, they're so beautifully rendered that it makes me feel happy watching this, even though it's so sad. People just walking home carrying umbrellas. There's probably, like, a junkie, like, sh sitting on the stoop, just shooting up in plain sight. Graffiti all over the place. Little kids charging forward, not a care in the world. Oh my god, Jason. I call for you and you just run right across the street, right into traffic. You don't stop and look both ways. I know I'm assuming that you're dead. Because that's what the whole introduction to this game was setting up. Now I'm going to have to con console Sean and uh, probably keep him from going off the deep end. I can definitely see, like, this game's called Heavy Rain. I can see a uh, depression theme establishing itself. And here's another carousel that mirrors the car carousel we saw um, in the mall. It looks different, but, uh, there's probably going to be a lot of repetition in this story. And a lot of just, like, visuals that emotionally take us back to something that already happened two years later. So I think, think in the intro, Jason was 10 and Sean was like maybe 8 or 9. So Sean should be like 10 or 11 now. And uh, I still can't control my character. He's just standing there. And it looks like he hasn't shaved in two years. Is this where he's living now? He was living in this beautiful house in the suburbs. No, no, he's, he's picking up Sean. I want to uh, get in the car and drive Sean wherever he's going, but I want to go across the street and see if I can look at this wall because this looks like beautiful graffiti. I hope I don't get hit by a car. Yeah, if you walk away too far, then... Uh, I mean, it makes sense. This game is so detailed. There's no way they could uh, have these levels be very long and add too much extra detail for like what's way down the street because that would just cause the uh, file sizes to be, like, extreme. So yeah, I'll get in the car. Adjust the rear view mirror, make sure Sean is still there. Oh, I see, I have to, like, do everything. I have to buckle my seatbelt. And then probably release the handbrake. Is this a hand? Oh, it's the, just the shift. You just shift into drive, and now I press R2. Okay. This scene is really engaging because, uh... It's a lot like a movie, but just the few button presses that are thrown in really make me feel like I'm there. Doing it. There's not a lot of meaningful choice so far. I mean... It's obvious that uh, Jason's death had to happen. There's no way that um, you can actually circumvent that. It just wouldn't make sense at all if uh, you could save Jason and then they would have to like rewrite the entire rest of the game. So uh, trying to like save Jason in the mall was like one of those big choice scenes that uh, the Walking Dead has so heavily. Yeah, so this is where uh, Ethan is living. It's not a... I have a bad feeling about this. 
I bet that um, he was picking up Sean because they got divorced after Jason died because uh, his wife blamed him for Jason's death or just could never like love him anymore after like going through that with him. There's a newspaper. The Origami Killer Strikes Again. It's the American Tribune. Seventh victim identified. The police have confirmed that the modus operandi is indeed that of the Origami Killer. So there is a piece of origami in the box that you can fold while waiting for the game to install. So this game has something to do with origami. Urgh. Back down, I want to see what's with the door. These controls are so wonky sometimes. Oh, okay. This is actually if I just want to step outside and look at the neighborhood. Is this mail? When the parents came home from church, all their children were gone. They searched and called for them. They cried and begged. But it was all to no avail. The children had never been seen again. When the parents came home from church, the children were gone. They cried and begged, but it was all to no avail. The children have never been seen again. Someone is writing me creepy postcards. Sean hasn't done his homework yet. I really don't want all of my children to be gone. There was enough heartbreak, um, Losing Jason and I'm not even the character, I'm just playing the game. I can't imagine what Ethan is feeling right now. I'm pretty sure his wife left him and they moved into separate shitty places instead of one nice house. Although I, this is actually a very beautiful shitty place. I wouldn't mind living here. It has its charm. I definitely like the rainy uh, weather. I love it when it rains in real life. I love to just go outside and stand in the rain and just walk down the streets and just like observe life happening in the cityscape in the rain. That's one of the most beautiful things. Oh my god, look at the expression on Ethan's face. He's just... I should actually do the rest of his thoughts and see what else he's thinking. He's thinking that uh, Sean needs to do his homework. Now I can choose no homework. We'll see about the homework later. So I guess he has contradictory thoughts and I have to actually choose what to do. So I'm going to talk to Sean and there's probably going to be like a conversation about homework maybe. Oh, I can sit down on the couch with Sean. So, do you want to talk a little? Talk about what? I don't know, about you, your friends, how things are going. The TV says voodoo in the special. background. How are things at the school? Is your teacher nice? Everything's fine, Dad. What do you say we play together for a while? I'd rather watch TV. I'd rather watch TV. Okay, I'm not going to bug him about his homework yet. I can be mean and turn off the TV, I think. No, I can't turn it off. It's just, um... An option to look at it more closely. Are these like pirates ransacking the town? I'm not following the plot of this TV show at all. Maybe there's like pirates ransacking the town and then there's heroes trying to stop the pirates? His eye patch fell out. 
and the treasure is marked with an X and the inside of his eye patch. <laughs> he strapped the treasure map right up against his eye so he wouldn't forget where the treasure was. <laughs> Pirates. Spelled P-Y-R-A-T-S. And there's the credits. Okay. I'm not going to watch any more TV shows because uh, I don't want to miss everything else this game has to offer. I can turn on the light. That's good. Right now the time is 6.05. Maybe it is time for dinner. Let's ask a... Uh, no, no, I don't want to sit down and mope. Time is passing too fast. I want to ask Jason what he wants for dinner. Not Jason, Sean. Do you See, I'm, I'm being haunted by the memories of Jason. Our time together, together was so brief. He says he's not hungry yet. Should I make him dinner anyway? What'll happen if I go to the fridge? There's the fridge back there. Go to the fridge. Do not walk like you are stoned. Oh, I have to turn my head toward the fridge, maybe. The only thing I can do is sit down. Maybe I have to think about dinner and then I can make it. Grace has shown this weekend. It seems like he can't wait to get back to his mother. Oh no. Sean is taking his mother's side in the divorce. This is horrible. Yeah, I guess I can't open the fridge. Here's another clock. It's 6.25 already. Time is flying. I can go out to the back balcony and mow here. What type of backyard do I have? Is there anything back here to do? There's this wooden table that, which looks like it's gonna rot if it gets wet from the rain. It's not a piece of approved patio furniture. There's a basketball hoop. I think that's the same basketball hoop that Sean had at his old house. So oh, here we go, there's a basketball, R1. Get ready, L1, am I gonna just release the shoot? I didn't make it. So you have to hold R1 and L1 to get your shot ready, to hold up both of your hands, and then you just jerk the controller off whenever you want to shoot. It's getting dark, a train is going by. So much stuff is happening in this game. It's like so rich with detail that I can't even process it all. Okay, you suck at basketball. That's why you didn't make it into the NBA. I understand now, Ethan.